What's up, Fighter Crew? We're back to the channel. I'm Ryan, and this is Nick. What up? All right, guys. So we are going to bring back Chris Ria. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear you. We uh, we only done him once. Yep. It was uh, on the beach. On the beach. Oh, yeah, dun, on dun, the dun, beach. Dun. Dun, 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 dun. And, it, and it still puts you on the beach. Yeah, literally. <laughs> All you gotta do is hit play, and you're drinking a pina colada on a beach chair <laughs> under pina colada. Umbrella. Yeah. Well, you know, it's funny because you know, recently, you know, at, you know, people that I know, I'll ask them about pina coladas. A lot of people don't like them, and I'm just like, why? They're so good. I guess they don't like getting caught in the rain either. So yeah, coconuts in there. So I guess I'm I'm assuming that's why people like people like. I don't like regular coconut. Like just regular, like you know, like little shavings of coconut and stuff. Like mm-hmm. you get on that stuff sometimes. I don't like that, but in pina coladas, <laughs> I I didn't fire. I didn't like coconut for a long time. It 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 took me a while. Yeah, yeah. Like probably until I was in my twenties, to be honest. I probably tried a pina colada like thing like when I was real little, but it was like in a popsicle form. Yeah, those weren't good. You don't like those? No. Oh no, if, no. Now, if you're talking like artificial pina colada, I don't like that. No, because they they never get it right. <laughs> But your drink of choice, and you know, you're, you're in the sand. That's that's what that song does. <clears throat> yeah, pretty. It much. was a great song. Yeah, it was a good song. Yeah. So the song that we're going to do today is called "Fool." If you think it's over, what a title! Yeah, I know, right? It's uh, it's something. But why do people do that though? Like, why do they put like, <sighs> if you don't want, it, like, I don't know. You know, people's not going to say it like that. Yeah, I don't know. I guess just because. If, if I guess just because like fool maybe just isn't wasn't great to them they're like oh we want to call this fool but it can't just be fool you know what I'm saying so like, I gotta I mean, put like a um, AKA yeah <laughs> so this song is off the debut album whatever happened to Benny Santana <laughs> oh no Sanita Santana Santani Santini Santana <laughs> Santini <laughs> Sandini. I don't know. I don't know how you, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Santana. Oh Santini. How do you say that? <laughs> Santini, Ryan. Oh, Santini. <laughs> what did I say? Santana? <laughs> I don't know. I was thinking Spanish. <laughs> Santana. Santini. <laughs> oh, my. Hey, man. I'm not good with the names, man. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, uh, it sounds like a sequel to Goodfellas or something. <laughs> or whatever happened to Benny Santini? Like a mob movie. That's what it sounds like. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't look at it like that. <laughs> I was thinking Spanish. Santini, Ryan? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> People have their own names for a reason. <laughs> I can't know how to say everybody's name in the world, all right? <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm Benny Santini. How's your mother? <laughs> How's your sister? <laughs> no, it sounds good. That's why I'm laughing. I was like, well, I guess that is it. Oh, I love it though. Great, great job, Chris. <sighs> yeah, that's right. And uh, can we talk about the album cover though? Not only do you see Benny Santini's name, that sticks out, but it, here we go with the rainbow scarf. Wow, <laughs> man! What's wrong with that? I'm just saying, like I, I could not pull that off. I'm sorry. A rainbow scarf? Yeah, it's. I've never been big on scarves. Yeah, I don't. Know, could you pull it off? No, I can't. Rainbow pull scarf? Off. I can't do a scarf in general. Oh. Well, how about the? I've jacket? always been. I've always been good. Yeah, I like. I could rock the jacket. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then we got the red. Uh, that's that. That's that eighties. Uh, the little eighties. <laughs> the uh, red marker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this font. Don't love it, but it is fine though. Okay, kind of reminds me of like a like a baseball team type of font, like Bad News Bears. You <laughs> know <laughs> what? <laughs> this uh, album was released in 1978, so not quite e- not quite e- not quite to the 80s yet. Uh, I'm I'm expecting a lot from this song because uh, last time Chris Ria was uh, pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what to expect though. Really? Yeah, cause I'm kind of hoping something different. I'm not gonna lie, like a different side. Yeah, well, it's, I, I don't think it's going to sound beachy again. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I just felt like, you know, you, you, you know, I, from him. Yeah, okay. I guess. Yeah, because now I have that I have that persona yeah. of what he sounds like first. And I, I want to see if he does anything. different. This is like this. This is one of the few times on the channel where I really have no like point of reference. Mm-hmm. Like this could sound like anything. Yeah, because I feel like on the beach, you know, that's 
it's such like a uh, specific sound yeah. that it's like, I don't even know what his sound is. <laughs> So maybe this will be a, a good uh, Might be a true indicator sound. of ah, that. Okay. Yeah. So let's do it. This is Chris Rhea, Fool, if you think it's over. Are we playing Atari? What's going on here? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not, I'm not. This sounds like Christmas Day. Like you, you just got the new Atari, Sega Genesis. Like you, you just started it up. Like this is the welcome screen. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh man, I I didn't see that coming. Nope. I I still don't even know what this is gonna be. <laughs> Let's try it again. Yeah. Phil Collinsy. Yeah. You're free again. Who could love do that to you? All dressed in black. You won't be coming back. Who save your Fire. This is fire. This is fire. This is absolutely fire. <laughs> this is fire right here. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I was this is what I was wanting. This is exactly what I was wanting. <laughs> this is what I mean by something different <laughs> and a different side of him. And this is absolutely fire. Do you hear this man? <laughs> this is good. This is so good. Come on, man. Let's get it. Oh, I didn't see that coming. That's what I <laughs> That's what I like to hear and see. That is what I like to oh. hear and see. This is fantastic. I got to be honest with you. I, I didn't think you were going to go crazy like that over this dude. part. Oh, dude. Didn't see it coming. Dude, his voice, the way, like, he's you, you're hearing a little bit more of his, his vocal in this one. I forgot about the rasp. Yeah, and the rasp. I totally, yeah. When I tell you about the rasp, even though I, I just, love the rasp. Even though I just did it in the intro, though, I forgot about it. On the beach. Exactly. I forgot that came from Rasp. Yeah. yeah. And then the B has completely flipped. <laughs> it's not Atari no more. <laughs> yeah. You know? Now it's midnight. Yeah. 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 This is great. This is fantastic. <laughs> I love it. I love the song already. <laughs> Fool, if you think it's so. Yeah. And now the title means a lot more to me <laughs> since I know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I see, see why he that's put the it. trick yeah that's the trick is because they they knew that's what the course was going to be mm -hmm. and they're like oh well it can't just say fool <laughs> yeah it, it blends too well together we, we got to put the whole thing right so when you see the title you don't say oh fool if you think it's over you say fool if you think it's yeah. over you have to sing it exactly <laughs> <laughs> I freaking hit the thing and full screened it. Didn't even mean to do that. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I didn't even mean to full screen it like that. I th I thought I was on a hallucinogen for a second. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is fire. This is exactly what I was wanting. This is like it's to a T. Like it's it's a whole different side of him. But you can still hear that. It's not like on the beach, but you can hear that he's changed it to a whole nother like. I'm not saying a different genre, but like um. Just a different way mood. he's using his yeah, a different mood. That's yeah. that's a good way to put it. Mood. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and it, and it definitely went back to more seventies. Yeah, mm -hmm. when it got around this part as yeah. well. And honestly, the pre-chorus sounded like a chorus. Yeah, I was it did. like, I was like, okay, the chorus better be good. Mm -hmm. Like you made a pretty good pre-chorus, and yeah, it hit. <laughs> Dream. 
such a tragic scene. Oh yeah. Mm. He knocked your crown. Slows it down again, yeah. man. That is this yeah. is fantastic, man. <laughs> man, just hit the fire. Hit the fire already. Come on, give me two. Oh, you want the fire. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, please. Thank you. Oh yeah. Burn the house down. Yeah. So I have to ask, is it this territory? It's it's starting to sound like it to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're on the yacht, baby. Yeah, we yeah. got the invitation. <laughs> uh, yeah, you just came in the mail. We're just sewing along. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and oddly enough, it's more yachty than on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then the sax, baby. Come on now. For oh a, yeah, flavor the little sax. And then as after the sax that was done, it fl- it came in the background a little bit. So I, I'm not, I'm gonna critique it just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think his voice needs to be louder. Yeah. I feel like the mix is off somehow. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing that's bad. Turn about him up it. a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's probably the only thing I, I don't, I'm not, because I can't hear him. I want to hear him. You know, I, I'm, I can hear him, but I can't hear him. If it makes sense. <laughs> so can we go back to this percussive sound? Yeah. You hear that doink, mm-hmm. doink, doink? That's an instrument. That's, um, we learned, we had to learn, uh, learn how to use that in elementary. Yeah. Wasn't it like a, like a, what well, like a thing? It's like a thing you just hit. It's like a little, um, like it's like a, it's hollow. It's like a little stick, and you hold it, but then you just hit it. You can hit it certain places, and it, and it plays a certain tune. Okay, yeah, I, that's what I remember when I was in elementary. It sounds like uh, when SpongeBob made that song, along with all the other things in the ocean, and it started with Gary hitting his eyes together. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> God. <laughs> that's what you think of. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the one in SpongeBob was a little more hot pitched. You know, uh, it's it's more like glass hitting. Whenever he did it. I don't know. It's not, this one sounds like a little bit lower. Yeah. I see what you mean, though. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> God bless. I think you need to watch it again. <laughs> <laughs> watch that and then listen to this. Yeah. yeah right yeah, after. Exactly. <laughs> no, this is just kind of a, a tease with this axe, right? Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't much, but I like how they're sprinkling it in after it, though. Like in the background. It's like throwing in with the rest of the sounds that we're hearing. We've heard, probably heard a thousand sounds. And it came back in for the final kill. It was like. Yeah, I was like, Whoa. it almost sounded like a different saxophone. Yeah, <laughs> for a second. Yeah, but it, it was nice though. Yeah, it was yeah. nice. Like again, I we said it before. Like not all sax solos have to be crazy. <laughs> like all timers, I just love hearing it. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, it. you can use it as you know, subtle as well, and it's, yeah. it's still good. It's just hard to complain about sax. <laughs> I just don't think it's happened that much on nah, this channel. I haven't. I haven't. We haven't. I, to me, I haven't heard a bad sax like part in any song that, that has had sax. Even even songs that have had sax and like we didn't really care about the song as a whole. Like the sax part is still good. Though. Yeah, exactly. It's still. It's just sax. something about the sax that is just always sounds good. I don't. I don't know what it is. It just. It always hits no matter what. The song could be terrible, and it's just, sax comes in. I love that part though. <laughs> yeah. Nothing beats great sex. That's right. The strings. I might be a uh, xylophone. 
the ba- the bass is real nice here. Yeah. yeah. That, yeah, that's fire right there. Comes back. That's the rhythm right there. Hear the the shaker. That was good. You. <laughs> you can press the flame again if you want. Now. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Why yeah. not? Yeah. Sure, yeah, why not? yeah, that's fire. I, I loved it. it. I loved every <laughs> single part of that song. It was fantastic. Put on the playlist. Dare I say? No, I can't do that. Oh. No, I can't do that. Oh. No, because the mix, man. I couldn't hear him. Yeah. It's really, it really sad. It sad me. I couldn't really hear the man. Yeah, and then that one random part at the end, he just got real loud. Did you hear that? Yeah, he said, "Ooh, we have a real good time." Yeah, he kind of went on and his it, own. He, it, he dropped out of the harmony for a second. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty cool. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, yeah, that was that's a, that's that's fantastic. <laughs> and I love the instruments, the the vibe of it, the lyrics, the way he sang, the just everything about it was just great. I just wish the mix was just a little better. That's about it for it, me. Uh, please don't get offended. But I, I feel like there was kind of like a Bee Gees thing going on in this as well. <laughs> you think they're going to get offended? Yeah, because... Oh, because you're comparing it to Bee Gees? Is yeah. That why? So, Uh-oh. I mean, it's, I don't know. That's just what I'm hearing. I can hear that. I can hear the Bee Gees in this. Yeah. It's if just, you took Chris Ray put Bee Gees in this, I'd probably still like it. It's just the, the harmony, uh, you know, orchestral section mm-hmm. in the background. Yeah. That, that type of thing. Soft, you know, mellow. That's... I just got those vibes. Yeah. But uh, uh, it's also that, but again, uh, Yacht Rock to me as well. Yeah. Maybe not as Yacht Rocky as the so, Yacht Rock we've had, but I would still put it on there. What else would it be like? We would, like, would you... Uh, Categorize this as? Yeah. Because uh, to me, I have no idea, to be honest with you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is cliche to just say Yacht Rock, Soft Rock, mm-hmm. but... Um, I would say Soft Rock. Yeah. I mean, I I, can't, I don't really know what else, what else to call it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't want to sit here and say every soft rock song is Yacht Rock. <clears throat> I don't, again, I, I'm not trying to confuse anybody <laughs> or anything. But I just feel like Yacht Rock, uh, again, that, that just really does have a feel of you could play this at a party and nobody's going to get offended. Like, everybody's going to like it in some way. That's what I consider that. Yeah. And this is just one of those songs. If you play this in a public setting... 
everybody's going to get down with it. Even mm-hmm. if you don't really like it, they're like, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, yeah. This is nice in the background. Nice hearing. With this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> nice hearing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easy on the ears. Yeah. yeah. I'm not as crazy about it as you are. I think it's a good chorus, but um, I think as the song goes on, it's just, it just kind of, I don't know. I just got to got more numb to it for some reason. It just really didn't stick out to me, but it is good. And it's something I would like to hear again. So it, it will be playlist. Um, you know, I don't, I don't think there's really anything groundbreaking here in my opinion, but, uh, yeah, I, I, I would just put it up with those seventies soft rock type of things all along with it. And this song, this is the type of instrumentation that I think that Steve Perry song needed. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. I, I've, again, that one was <clears throat> good for what it was, but I feel like in this, it was, it was better. Like, I, I feel like this production Really suited a great vocalist. So what would you just flip them to on the songs? You think no, you, you I think, think you could do that no, one? No, I would take this one on both of them. <laughs> Don't be down Steve like that. <laughs> Man, there were people in the comments that were like, this sounds like a Bad Journey song. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> like, All right. I mean, that's saying something. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought I was harsh about it. <laughs> But um, <sighs> yeah, the, this the, again a, a little too repetitive, and the chorus just kind of. Yeah, I thought they could chop out the last two. Um, yeah, like like that outro choruses, the last little, like you know that last little bit. I think they couldn't do. It. He couldn't do it without that. Yeah, especially like I know with you, you like the ad libbing at the end, and it really just didn't happen. Yeah, he didn't give it. Yeah, he didn't give them much of the ad libs as, as much as I would like. Right, like I said, he did drop out of the harmony, but it really. Um, I don't know. I just it just really. Well, I thought it sounded there. weird that he did that. Oh, That's why I brought it you didn't up. didn't think it was suited? Yeah, okay. I didn't think. I just thought it was kind of random. I was like. I guess just because this is such like a familiar type of sounding chorus. Like, I feel like I've heard this before, mm-hmm. except just um, better versions of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's still nice. It's still pleasant. You know, if it, this is probably one that will make the playlist. I honestly don't know if I'll ever seek it out. It just when it happens to show up, it's like, oh, okay. I'll play it. Like, that's that's easy listening. Yeah, like, for, I'll me, listen to yeah it. for me, it's like, I'll seek it out because I just heard it. But then after a while, it'll just like drop into like, oh, I'll hear it once in a while. I'm like, mm, this was good. You know, <laughs> that, that's how this is how this song will be for me. You know, I like it so much. Like, I like it for, it's a first listen. You yeah. know, you're going to be excited when you hear something you really yeah. like. But, you know, our, over time, this is the song that's going to be like, because there's still other songs I think are better than this, obviously. But it's like, it's just going to drop into like, once I hear it once in a while, and I'm like, mm, this was a really good song. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to listen to it and I'm going to enjoy it. You know, like, yeah, we like don't, we don't really know what's going to happen. We can only. You know, hypothesize. Sometimes these song songs after a long period of time, they kind of bog down. Like mm-hmm. you don't love them as much as you used to. Sometimes the reverse happens. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes you love it even more down the road. Like it, there's no telling. There's mm-hmm. no telling with music. Th- that percussion thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I, I don't know. And I get fit, I guess, but I don't know. That just kind of it was a little distracting for me sometimes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't Every know time why you I heard was. it, you just wanted to go. Yeah, it was just like a like a like the cousin of a cowbell, except except without the bell though. Yeah, yeah. It, so it's uh, like a wooden instrument. It's like a yeah, yeah. I don't know. So, so that was kind of hard to get past the sometimes. But <laughs> hey, you'll never forget it. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. And when I hear the song again, the whole time I'm just gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> just hit the wall. It's like Nick, what are you doing? You don't hear that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But overall, again, this. These soft rock songs, like they're they're hard not to come back to. Mm-hmm. Like even like this one, to me, uh, not really above the others that we've done, but I'll still come back to it because yeah. it it is such a nice, smooth, easy listening song yeah. that we're all used to. So, yeah, thank you for that request. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like, and as always, please tell us your views. Thank you for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace, Peace out. out. I like how you're just like calmly drinking the tea. Yeah, I, I need I need to have it. <laughs> no, I like it. It shows um because that's one thing that like you know that I've learned like over the years when I'm watching like these reactors and stuff and like because it's it's natural. It's it's like it's not fake. You know, mm-hmm. people like it when stuff's not fake. And that's why people always say, "Oh, this reaction looks fake." You know, but sure. that's what I've learned. Like you know, over the time, like people like natural stuff. Like when we take a drink in the middle or something like that. Like people like that kind of stuff. You know, I know. You know, I know how I tell you and Tyler, like, you know, like perfection, you know, like you like your, you know, but I like whenever. The only reason, I, did, the only reason I didn't drink before is because I was in the middle. 
I would have been constantly like yeah, reaching over, reaching yeah. over you guys. But yeah. now I'm on the side though. 